And with the winning head coach, Brandon Childs, joining us here, your college uh, defeating Franklin and Marshall 18-7 in the final. We talked the other day, and uh, there were, uh, there's a lot of players to talk about, but you mentioned the one matchup, and that was Kennedy on Rigsby, mm-hmm. and, you, and, and you brought him out towards AJ tonight, and I thought he did a tremendous job on him. Yeah, he, he did fantastic. He even got one the other way, he even did. scored one, you know, and um, – but uh, he was dialed in. I thought it was a good matchup. I think the world of their kid. I think Rigsby's one of the best midfielders in the country. And, um, and you know, so Ryan bumping up and trying to neutralize him. And I thought both guys played well. Um, and, you know, Ryan you know, stepped up to the challenge for sure. What did you take away? Your, your last two games were, were both losses, but they were to the number one and number two teams in the country. What did you take away from that heading into tonight? You know, I, I think like we're – I don't want to give you coach talk, but we got a lot better the weeks going into those games and didn't see wins as the result of it. But we just kind of stayed the course and kept getting better. And um, and it was good to – we had 10 different guys score today. Yep. And some of that is a tribute to just like, you know, you, you, you know, losses just make you watch the film a little closer and, you know, make you try new things and such. And so I think, you know – I'm glad. I'm not glad we lost them, but I think it certainly helped kind of Dallas in to prepare for this weekend. Well, if you're going to talk about scoring, you you have to talk about Will Harnick tonight. I could be wrong about this, but I think it was a career high for him: six goals, two assists, eight points. Talk a little bit about his performance. Yeah, I mean he's definitely one of the better shooters on the team, but he's but he can move, he can dodge, he can feed it, so he's a tough cover. Um, and I just think he, you know our offense moved the ball well, and on a lot of ca- occasions Will was the last one to touch it. Um, but he had some off the dodge too, and um, you know he just is a disciplined shooter that works on his craft, and it showed up today. And as far as the defense is concerned, you had a wall in goal tonight. Jack Michael made some acrobatic saves for you. Yeah, no, that one stretch, it was 10-5. We were man down, and he made those two back-to-back. And if either of them go in, it's 10-6, and the momentum shifts, and the opposite happened. He got real fired up, and the bench responded. And then but that, was, that was a good turning point in the game there to keep the momentum on our side because it easily could have shifted the other way. And once he made those two, he was, he was real dialed in for the rest. What about a quick turnaround now? You don't usually play games back-to-back. I know, I know you do come tournament time, which is important to kind of get an idea of what your team can do. But what about the recovery, and what do you plan to do tonight to get them ready? Yeah, no, um, you know, our guys will take care of themselves tonight and uh, we'll enjoy this one for about 30 minutes and then we'll, we'll get focused moving forward. Um, and, you know, the turnaround and got another good opponent tomorrow. And, you know, hopefully we did enough in the week in preparation for them that we can show up tomorrow um, prepared and ready to go. Gotcha. Brandon Childs, the winning head coach tonight. And we'll come back with more on GoMustangSports.tv.